Herd Line News. Scrambled eggs, huh? Is it your go-to for breakfast? Well, no, that's my dinner. I can't, you know, <laughs> I don't have to know the culinary industry, but if smart people in it like something, it's probably good. Agreed. Right. Uh, all right, let's get started here. Russell Westbrook, Colin, in breaking news in the last 30 minutes, according to Woj, Russell Westbrook is going to come off the bench tonight in the preseason. Oh, my. Final game of the preseason. Uh, Darvin Ham's been exploring the possibility of Russ leading the second unit. So they're going to give it a go tonight. I'm sure it's just coincidental that it comes out after this uh, incident at the last Lakers game. Remember, Patrick Beverly, well, national television, weirdness with well, Russ. Well, listen. Before Patrick Beverly arrived and Dennis Schroeder, we thought Russ was an odd fit. Remember that Dennis Schroeder has moved a lot because he's prickly. Okay, so he's not going to put up with Westbrook stuff. And Patrick Beverly pokes and prods professionally. So the Lakers brought on two strong personalities with strong voices. And my takeaway was not to elevate Westbrook to annoy Westbrook. They did it. They, first of all, they needed those players, and those players right now are both better. Shooter's giving me 15 a game and can shoot, and Beverly's a 3 and D guy. Right now, they're not as talented, but they're both better than Westbrook. So this idea they brought him on and it was just... No, they brought those guys on to irritate Westbrook. And by the way, why are they doing this, and why is it leaked? To irritate Westbrook, who changed agents, who put his house up for sale. They want Russell gone. Well, I, I texted someone as soon as I saw this news. Trainer works out a lot of NBA players. They said Russ's value is super low right now. If you saw, he took like three shots in the last game when he started. Moving him to the bench allows him free reign. He can put up a ton of shots, accumulate a lot of stats. Hey, guys, look around the league. Look at Russell Westbrook. He's putting up big numbers with our second unit. Do you want him? So his elevation playing with the second unit could get stats and get him chipped out of town. I think you're right. Russ is going to be gone sooner than later. Yep. Uh, next story, Colin, the Eagles. Eagles-Cowboys Sunday night, obviously. Eagles, a final undefeated team in the league. Jalen Hurts is 5-0. and The offense has a tough matchup with the Cowboys. And Demarcus Lawrence is jaw-jacking about how confident <laughs> Dallas's defense is. Listen to this stuff. Has he played us? Different teams run different schemes. All you need to write is he hasn't played the Cowboys yet, so we don't know how good he is. They do have a pretty good offense. They got a good wide receiver core, good quarterback, good O-line, so they're well-rounded. But also, we them boys. Remember that. <laughs> don't worry about it. Y'all will see it on Sunday. You know, I will say this for Demarcus Lawrence. Um, I thought he was invisible at times last year. I think he's off to a great start. Yeah. So, remember, he had a really, really good year about three or four years ago. Got paid, and I just kind of felt like I never saw the same guy. He has been exceptional. Yeah. And maybe some of it is so much attention facing the Cowboys is to block Micah Parsons. But Micah's great. Trayvon Diggs, Demarcus Lawrence is back to being the guy they paid. He's been exceptional. But well, I'll just say this. They face some bad offensive lines, okay? The Rams' offensive line is really hurting. Uh, a couple weeks ago, they faced, the, I think, the Bears. Was it Giants? I mean, they beat up on bad offensive lines. I like Philly this week. Philly's offensive line is the tops in the league. And by the way, all their guys are healthy. Kelsey's good. The left tackle's good. Do you good. like Philly? Uh, I got to save it for later in the okay, show, Colin. Okay. Come on. But, uh... The line's up to six and a half. It was four and a half. Outs, I know. So it's... Philadelphia was the side early in the week. Now it's up to six and a half. You're going to miss the best number. But I do think Philly wins 27-20. That's my – I think Philadelphia controls the game. You think Dallas gets to 20 points, huh? Cooper Rush, third straight road game. Oof. Well, they block punts. They get turnovers. We'll see. All right, final story. Uh, Carson Wentz. Uh, can I say your guy, Carson Wentz? I know you'd like to defend him a Seven lot. and 7-0 on Thursday. 7-0. He had 99 yards <laughs> passing last night. Um, all right, so anyways, Carson Wentz's coach, Ron Rivera. Boy, he got a little heated last night after the win. Uh, strongly defended Wentz. And uh, he kind of went off a couple of obscenities here. Earmuff it if your little kids are watching. It's been hard. It really has. You lose four games in a row, and everybody wants to get you, you know, just get on you. And they've played their <laughs> off. They have. They play their <laughs> off for everybody. They come out and they show up. They work hard. All right. They don't complain. Okay. They hear all this stuff and they got to deal with it. I get that. And I respect them for that because they're resilient. They come back. Everybody keeps wanting to say, I didn't want anything to do with Carson. Well, bull. I'm the guy that pulled out the sheets of paper that looked at the analytics that watched the tape in the freaking when we were at indianapolis okay and that's what me off because the young man doesn't deserve to have that all the time i'm sorry i'm done uh, for the record i like ron um 
You know I like Wentz better than everybody else. But when I watched that game last night, I thought the Bears offensive coordinator, I thought they moved the pocket. I thought they were clever. I do not like what Washington's offense looks like. I think Washington's offense has some talent. I like their receivers. I don't think the Bears offense has any talent or or very little. But I think Luke Getze did the most you can do with what he has. I think Washington is underachieving offensively. 99 yards passing no, no, no. For, I, for your guy Carson You know Wentz. I like Wentz. Yeah. You guys all bang on him, but I... I... You can have him. Uh, by the way, the <laughs> Chicago Bears, Colin, drove inside the 10-yard line three times and got zero points. Okay. Like, I bet Washington, I, I said Washington on the show, but they were not the better team last night. We can agree on that, I right? think Chicago, I honestly think Chicago's well-coached. But their history is they can't draft offense. I don't like the O-line. I don't like their receivers. Washington's got players on offense. They don't use them effectively. So, so to, just to be clear, you like Eberflus and you like Carson Wentz? No, no. I think Eberflus, I watch the Bears, and I believe they are well-coached and well-coordinated. Okay. I watch Washington, and I don't like their O.C. I think they're not creative. I don't think they put Wentz. You know, we always blame the quarterback here. But if you don't like, like right now, Washington, Wentz has, why was Wentz better last year with Frank Reich? Because he's an offense. Well, as you know, I have favorites in the quarterback game. One of them is Jimmy GQ, Jimmy Garoppolo for the Niners. He is, as his team is falling apart this week, and they're missing eight starters. They're not only winning, they're winning big. Although I think they're going to have a tussle this weekend against Atlanta. So um, Jimmy G is one of those guys that just keeps his head down, um, doesn't make, he doesn't whine, doesn't complain, doesn't want to own the press conference. Um, You know, he's got that kind of Dak Prescott quality at the podium. Like he just says the right stuff. Anytime there's controversy, he just sort of sidesteps it, falls on the sword. That's a skill, by the way. And so Steve Young, um, Joe Montana have both said things before they really like him. And Steve Young was on KNBR radio in San Francisco talking about like what he's overcoming and and why he likes him so much. He just keeps rolling and he doesn't fall for any of the trips and traps and the cheap shots and the things that he could be saying and doing. No wonder the locker room loves this guy. No wonder that, you know, he just kind of can handle all this stuff that happens to him. He's like, yeah, we're good. Let's just keep rolling. I admire that. And I have to tip my cap to it. And it's not easy. We've seen a lot of quarterbacks can't handle the podium. So think about it this way. Do you believe that Bill Belichick knows more about football than you? Guy wearing a Niner jacket who retweets adult videos on Twitter. Yeah, I'm going to say he does. Belichick drafted him over 14 years higher than any quarterback he drafted in New England. And he drafted a lot. Belichick liked him and wanted to replace Brady. He did. Robert Kraft wouldn't let him. And then when the owner said, you got to get rid of him, the smartest young offensive coach, the guy who owned Sean McVay, Kyle Shanahan said, I'll take him. I'll take him. So the best coach ever loved him, was going to move off Brady. And the best young coach loves him. But Jimmy Garoppolo has been hurt a lot. And so the Niners, fearful that he's not available, went out. Three first-round picks tried to get a young quarterback to replace him. That quarterback got hurt. Jimmy Garoppolo, in the two years in San Francisco, he's been healthy. In both, he's gotten to the NFC Championship. Still doubt him? Listen, if you were a young chef, you're talented, you're in the culinary industry, and Bobby Flay and Gordon Ramsay both said, I'll take him. Belichick, Kyle Shanahan. Both said, I'll take him. I'm going to trust their opinion over guy retweeting adult videos and the critics on Twitter. I'm sorry, I just have to. It's not smug. It's honest. In an offseason where Garoppolo had shoulder surgery on his throwing arm, where he was not kind of shunned by his team, was not given a playbook, was suddenly thrust into a starting role Despite not practicing or playing in the preseason, he's missing his the, his left tackle, the best left tackle in football, and his top running back. He now has a passer rating in the NFL that's higher than Brady and Joe Burrows today, seventh, and a touchdown interception ratio that is third. Folks, 
at some point, I know it's so hard to admit you're wrong. The Niners are really good, and one of the reasons is this dude. Kyle Shanahan's won 24% of his games in San Francisco when Jimmy doesn't start. It's not the prettiest ball, the biggest arm, but... Off white kicks got him danced out. 